Nobby. I'm here at Parks and Countryside, Randy Park. I'm here to speak to some of the staff and apprentices about their roles within Leeds City Council. What does your job involve? What's your typical day like? Well, on the morning, I go around making sure all the animals um, are OK and doing the normal thing, like the meerkats going around and digging, making sure everyone's out and happy and healthy, collecting all the food and water balls and giving them fresh food and water every day. Cool. Um, how did you find out about the job? I was actually at school. Um, I talked to a careers advisor, um, told her that all I've ever wanted to do is really work with animals, and she actually told me about the apprenticeship. Then I got, obviously, a leaflet about it, um, filled out a form, got an interview and luckily got the job. How did you know you wanted to do this type of work? Just from a young age, um, I've always been really, really passionate about animals. A lot of people in my life have roles with animals or just have really encouraged me to go with what I've really wanted to do and I've never really thought of anything else. Does it help if you're passionate about what you, what you do? Um, do you get any training in your job? Yeah, a college tutor comes out to me once every two or three weeks um, and he will either assess me on the job, so he'll look at what I'm doing when I'm looking after the animals. So, for example, if there's an ill animal and it needs injections or anything like that, then he'll watch me doing that and make sure I'm doing it properly. Um, or he can teach me new things that I possibly don't know or isn't relevant to my role but I would need to know um, in other industries. So what are the good things about your job? Um, everything. <laughs> I get to look after all the meerkats, even the baby ones, so when they first start coming out um, I'm making sure they're friendly so we can do health checks on them. Um, Looking after the snakes is always really, really fun, getting to feed them and the crocodiles as well. Um, a little bit more challenging yeah. stuff like the crocodiles and, and the bigger snakes mm -hmm. is always really, really fun. And just trying to, to push myself to work with everything and be really confident. No bad things at all. Cleaning out the bats in the morning, it's a little <laughs> bit smelly, a little bit hot, but other than that, not really, no. And uh, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I'd really like um, to work in big aquariums. I'm quite passionate as a scuba diver as well, mm -hmm. love big fish. So I'd quite like to take my enthusiasm for animals and diving and kind of merge them together. Um, if I don't get the chance to do that, I would love just to continue my work within animal industries and just see where life takes me, I suppose. What types of jobs do you have in tropical world and how would you people go out in finding them? So we're all looking on the animal um, side of things. We do have gardeners, so we have a full gardening team looking after the vegetation. But then equally we have gift shop staff and we have cafe staff as well. Yeah. And all of the jobs are generally sort of put on the, the council's website or they will be sort of entered into apprentice um, yeah. sort of schemes. Any new recruits that come um, into the company, we want them to be keen and enthusiastic. You want them to be willing to try new things, learn new skills, and really enjoy their time when they're working with us. We do lots of in-house training. So, for example, Kerry, when she came on board, I had to do lots of training with her so that she could work with the crocodiles, yeah. work with the big snakes, and really get her sort of feeling as comfortable as possible working in this environment. Yeah. There is a lot of shadowing that goes on, so they will be following, obviously, the older um, members mm. of staff around, assisting them and trying to sort of gain some new knowledge, some new experiences, and build up their own set of skills, but yeah. it's sort of really heavily supervised to begin with. Yeah. Can you tell us some good things that you've seen on an application form and some not-so-good things? Um, if they've got any previous experience and anything that's sort of extremely relevant to the role that they're going mm -hmm. to be doing. Again, with Kerry, because she keeps some reptiles at home, that yeah. ties in with an aspect of what we do here. We have different elements of the interview process, yeah. which is sort of quite difficult for some people, yeah. but we want to make sure that we sort of cover the formal part of it. Yeah. We also go through um, almost like a walk round with questions and answers, but we also like to have a, a bit of a practical um, element mm -hmm. to it where they can look at the different foods that we use, different materials that we're using, and see how familiar they are with some of the things yeah. that we already do. Yeah. What kind of questions do you ask at interviews? 
We want them to tell us what they think the job will entail. Yeah. We want to sort of try and make sure that we're going to sort of fulfil some of their understanding of the role. You have to be interested in the work that you're doing. If you're enthusiastic, you're going to get so much more out of it.